Okay, everyone, today we are taking a first look at FIFA 23 and its World Cup mode. You're like, wait, FIFA 23 is November. What are you doing, pro streamer? This is a little bit late. It's 14th of uh, November, by the way, 2022. Uh, yeah, you know, we got the, uh, let's say, uh, oh, by the way, full disclosure, review code provided by the publisher. Can't remember. Um, so we got review code a little bit late. And then at that point, I was like, you know what? World Cup mode is only around the corner. It's only around the corner. So I've been like holding off on this for like four weeks. And then we're going to do a first look. And this is the big mode that is coming to this version of the game. Like I might as well cover everything, right? You know? So yeah, that's why this is late. That's my excuse. But anyway, obviously FIFA 23. It's the last official ever, 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 ever. Did I say we're playing on Xbox also? We're playing on Xbox also. Last official ever, 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 ever FIFA game ever, ever, ever. I'm going to make that my thumbnail title. Just know, don't judge me when it's clickbaity because it's factually true. Okay? So we've got loads to talk about with this game. So let's get right into it. First of all, last ever FIFA game. Let's try it. That is going to be titled FIFA game. So, you know, if you don't know what the drama is going on between EA and FIFA, um... Like the, the rumors are, they didn't come out and say, but the rumors are that uh, FIFA wanted too much money, uh, you know, because like all these big publishers and video game companies, they usually sign, you know, licensing deals for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. So EA has had the licensing deal with FIFA for the longest time to call these games FIFA. And uh, the license deal ended. And like some people say they went like a billion, two billion, whatever for, you know, and EA just went, nope. And everybody universally just went, you know what? That's probably the right decision because FIFA is, you know, FIFA is FIFA, not the video game, the the FIFA, right? So I was like, yep, whatever. So next year's game is going to be called, I can't remember, something sport, EA, EA soccer, or was it an Oakma team? I don't know. It's just going to be, it's going to be a FIFA game, but it's not going to be FIFA. So officially last ever FIFA until somebody else picks up the license and they call it FIFA. I don't know. So I feel I feel like for next year and going forward, a lot of the people who like EA Sports' soccer or football game, they're going to have to be like in the know, right? Because it's going to be your average who doesn't like stick with this hard. Oh, what's my FIFA this year? So keep that in mind. Anyway, sorry. That's a long story. So there's be some big changes with this year's game. So the big, big, big ones that we're going to talk about that everybody cares about really and truly or the hardcore FIFA players who buy FIFA every year. It's now it's fully, fully, fully. Imagine it's the last FIFA game and this is the time when we get this. It's fully crossplay from day one, from the start. Crossplay everything. And we've been waiting forever, forever, forever. This one is crossplay. Obviously, there's the Switch version, which is, you know, doesn't count because that's the last end version, whatever. Um, and then, uh, oh, actually, maybe it's not okay. Maybe the last gen versions are like cross play with each other, and next gen versions cross play with each other, and then PC because there's so many cheaters is a separate thing. But like, you know, what we everybody who plays FIFA basically wants PlayStation, Xbox cross play. That's what you got now, right? So that's the first big thing coming out the gate swinging. The second big thing is basically everybody knows people just play Ultimate Team when they play FIFA now. All my team fully cross play fully and the big thing with all my team this year is there's a unified transfer market so again i'm sure you know what all my team is you don't need to explain you know open packs whatever again and put my disclosure and disclaimer out here you know when you play all my team be very careful if you're younger people play on my team again be very careful because basically you know loot boxes and everything um so uh but you can also play all my team and never spend money on it right and then there's the transfer market where you put your cards on the market and everything. The problem with the previous games forever, ever since Ultimate Team's conception was each console's transfer market was locked, was its own ecosystem. So the Xbox had its own transfer market. The Switch had its own transfer market. PlayStation had its own transfer market. PC has its own transfer market. It's for PC players and for uh, Switch players, it's still, you know, it, they still have their own transfer market because, again, Switch is just a legacy version that they've been releasing for five years. So nobody cares about that version unless you're a Switch player. And then PC transfer market, they basically, I don't know if they said this, but people are like, well, you can get like auto bidders and bots and things like that, right? So to have that transfer market in, it would probably destroy everything. So that's why they've kept that separate. So officially, there's three pools of the unified transfer market. There's the PC one, there's the Switch one, and then there's basically everything else. So last gen Xbox current gen xbox last gen playstation current gen playstation are all in a unified pool so that is if you're all my team player that's massive massive seriously legitimately massive news um 
because uh, you know it'll be card basically what that should mean is the transfer market prices should go down and if you're on a platform you know that isn't as popular or whatever you know pri player prices were um virtual player prices were like you know more expensive than that so that's a, that's a big thing like not only cross play now uh, you know, between Xbox and PlayStation, also Ultima Team Crossplay, also Ultima Team Unified Transfer Market. <sighs> I don't know what to talk about here. We've just sorry. Okay, other big things are uh, for the women's game now. Uh, they've finally introduced. I mean, not finally introduced because we've had women's football in here. You know, so like you like the way they advertise it. But we finally got women's club football. Uh, we've never had women's club football here before. Um, uh, so if we go here, we go women's teams, and then it's not everybody. They got two leagues, I believe, right? So they got the English league, and they got the French league, and again, like, uh, so they got you know two leagues here, and then obviously they have got the international uh, women's teams, which they've had for a couple of years now. But yeah, club football is finally here. So you know, you only pick Arsenal basically. Cause why would you pick anything else? Because Arsenal's the greatest. They're men and they're women's team. Uh. Tell them I'm an Arsenal fan. Um, yeah, that's, that's like one of the first big, uh, big gameplay changes here, and then um, also this game is gonna have high promotion 2.0, like the high promotion that they introduced last year is like the 2.0 version of that. So more animations, more movements, and everything. And then uh, you know your Volta has this like yearly updates. Your um, uh. When did they get the Champions League license? I actually didn't know that. I thought Pro uh, Evo still had that, whatever that, whatever they call that now. I actually didn't know. Um, let me go back out here. You can tell them uh, like super well prepared. Uh, so obviously then you know they got all the other modes they usually have in there. They got Volta, which they've been doing for a couple of years. They got all my team where everybody plays. Uh, and then they got the, here's the big thing basically and this is why this is game is gonna basically like interest everybody at the moment because again if you don't know fifa world cup is coming up uh in like a week and uh this has the world cup mode so it's not like days years past whatever where um we used to get a separate world cup game right whoever had the world cup license if it was uh konami or if it was ea you know they used to do a separate game since like 2018 what fifa's been doing is they when the world cup comes around or yours come around they usually add a mode into their fifa games so again they, they this game had a big update last week it was like five six gig update uh it's only like 45 gig download tour which is a good thing the only reason i point that out is like the other thing that has like both divisions men's and women's game is like i can think of the 2k basketball games and those are like 120 gig downloads something crazy like that uh, obviously, I've got the license audio blocked here because I don't want the stream to go down uh, muted. Um, so yeah, last week I had the big update and the FIFA World Cup mode comes now. So that's just going to be all the official license stuff, the official license teams and everything and branding and all that. Um, so that's what we're what we're focused on today is we check out some of the women's club football. We're gonna play Arsenal. I'm just you know getting your expectations out of the way there. We'll play Arsenal, right? And then we'll check out the new World Cup mode. I'm on the boundary of, you know, if we should just simulate England losing a couple of times. Um, we'll check out the World Cup mode and then we'll check out Ultimate Team. Ultimate Team has also has uh, the World Cup update where, you know, they're doing it until January. They're doing their promotion player packs, blah, 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 and all that stuff. So we'll, we'll check that out. So that's that's the plans. Obviously, short video, uh, Twitch, longer video will be, uh, sorry, longer video, Twitch, shorter video will be up on um youtube you know all that information description follow like subscribe and all that all right this is the longest intro ever so let's let's get right into it so obviously uh i should also say obviously they've still got their manager modes and all that and uh you know uh career and seasons if i go into career there's the is it gonna uh oh i was gonna there's good two options here you can do single player career manager career and all that and then you got your seasons on my team volta quick play uh I just play all my team or career or, you know, I'm probably going to be playing all this World Cup mode over the next month because, you know, so that, that's why I've decided to do this video now because that's what everybody's going to be interested in. Is it a good World Cup mode or not? Okay, so let's go to kick off. Let's go uh, ready. Uh, we've got house rules, water football, UEFA Champions League. 
Uh, home and away. This is just like different game options, like you know how you want to play. We just go classic, man. Um, all right, let's go women's. Uh, let's pick Arsenal, obviously, and uh, you know we we'll pick seventy-seven, seventy-five, seventy-five. Blah, 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 blah. We'll pick Spurs, cause you know that's like a rivalry we've never heard of before, right? Roy, <sighs> okay, let's go here. Uh, we got anything different in the settings that I need to discuss? There is this one big. So they've added this. Um, they've added again. There, should, there will be audio here and everything. But I've muted it because you know. And a warm welcome from uh, North London. License. We're at the Emirates Stadium. Uh, they got this new thing where, like, if you're new to football games, because a lot of the games have basically become like sim games now to the extent, right? Uh, so like how they did with the like the NHL games like back in the day what they're doing for the last couple of years now they've introduced something similar here where basically the trainer that's what they're calling it i think it tells you tells you like how to play where to pass and everything and i'll turn it on but i turn it off like almost straight away because one i'm a professional streamer and a great video game player so i don't need it but two it's like very 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 distracting um and the game begins so uh i'm just trying to think should we leave our final thoughts for until after we've played a while Kim or Wizzle. should i give them now no i think we'll, we want you to click to the end of the video because um, obviously the big again you know uh having the women's games everything is great and all the cross play stuff and everything but gameplay actual gameplay wise um it's like the hyper motion 2 stuff is what is like really big and different here but like um it just it the game feels like slower and like you know more sim like basically is that what i said before um, so if i quickly go trainer and if we go here uh is it on now hide show show hide is it oh no hold on i gotta go settings we gotta go game settings they have simplified some of the menu stuff here because like for years it's like a menu within the menu and then those settings are buried within the menu so it's like you know everything's a little bit cleaner there uh so we've got trainer on um and then i just quickly show you because again you know maybe they knew right this is a uh, world cup mode is coming this year and everybody's gonna like you know this is looking threatening. gonna want to play a fo play a football game so like it's a good time to add that in uh yeah, I, I, it's just too busy for me, though, I'm going to be honest with you. It's just too much going on. Um, that's why I turn it off. It's, like, really distracting. But I guess you could fine-tune it, right? Those options are there for, uh, like, printer settings here, like, what you want to turn on and off so you can adjust it to your lining. Uh, trainer toggle. Uh, show target. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't played with it too much because I just went, no, off. Movement indicator. Like, why was that, that the thing you turned well, off? Um, what's I think the text is too small, though. Yeah, and I'm playing, like, on a 50-inch screen here. Um, so, I, this is my first big criticism I'm going to talk about this game. I, I spent a lot of time. I spent, like, two hours trying to get the zoom levels right. I just think that they haven't got it right in this year's game. Because I was a being it from last year's game, again footage of that up everywhere. Um, like the players seem very small, and for the longest time I was like, "Oh wow, he's the Arsenal!" Uh, one thing I like they got in the, uh, the it's easier to change. Um, I need to see this. Hold on. Well, here it is again, and really you have to question the goalkeeper. She shouldn't be beaten inside that near post, even if it was a good strike. <laughs> Wow. Oh, I should have sold that bit, sorry. Um, I lost track of my fault now. Maybe I shouldn't have picked Arsenal. I'm going to be too far away. Oh, 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 Trent. Um, I seriously lost track of all my faults. Um, oh, yes, the zoom level. I... 
Yeah, so like you can go in and you can like uh we go game settings here and you go camera. You know, they got their EA Sports cam and everybody complained about it when it first got introduced and it was like, oh I don't like the angles and everything. I just got used to it, I stick to it now. But look at my camera zoom. I've gone to custom and I've put the zoom into max and it hardly makes a difference because I again the, the game just feels way too zoomed out like this year. Like, you know, I know a lot of pro players like it like that I'm because they want to see like uh, as much of the action that is going on at one time, but I want to see the graphics, the graphics, you know, of this hyper motion too and everything. Like, uh, yeah, it's way too zoomed out, and all the settings you can change and everything don't make a difference. Uh, it's really like all the camera angles and everything. And even if you like put on some of the camera angles where it does make it zoomed in, it just looks it looks too noisy. Like, and I I genuinely don't know if this is a thing where okay. This is like, these are 4K well, games now, and this is a 1080p and capture something. and everything. Obviously, it's gonna be like 720p like on YouTube and everything. Um, if, they're, if there's just too much detail and like down resing it, it just makes too much noise now. But um, like when you try to zoom in on some of the other camera angles, it just looks, the image just looks noisy. Like, I, 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 I really, I really don't get it. Maybe I should show you. If I go settings here, game settings. And I was a being this for the longest time. Okay, so we got it on camera zoom twenty. Uh, let's go to uh single player camera and let's get something we can like zoom into. We go dynamic. By the keeper. Well, what more can you show say? you? That's goalkeeping at its very best. Oh, uh, another big gameplay change they've made. This is a great change, by the way. Uh, now, instead of, oh, you know, hold the stick at a certain angle and put spin on it after the shot and everything, it's basically like golf style now. Like, the, there's the ball, and depending on where you hit the ball with your right stick, it will Trying curl and chip like that. It was so much well, better. I hated the other system so much. This is a great change. Uh, so everybody, anybody who's played FIFA for a while now will know what I'm talking about. Uh, so gameplay change wise. So yeah, look, here's, here's it zoomed in, which to me, like, is better because I can see what's going on. But like, I don't know if that's like, oh, the pitch is like, you know, um, the pitch is, uh, obviously this is too zoomed in because you can't see what's going on. I just want to like tell you, like, I don't know if the screen's too busy or, um, it seems noisy to me. I don't know how to describe it. And again, I was AB in it for the longest time. Like, there's something that, like, I, uh, well, me personally, uh, let me zoom out now. The, um, I just can't get the camera settings, like, where I want them. And even if I go full zoom in and everything, then it just looks, a, this image looks a bit noisy to me. I don't know what it is. Uh, again, that's what like my favorites are. Maybe yeah, these these are 4K games now, and you play them at lower resolutions and like that. That could be the reason. But again, last year's game didn't have that. I was playing that at 1080p also. Again, here's the default zoom now. Like, see, like, it's just way too zoomed out. Um, I'm just toying with them now. Uh, also, we should turn off the trainer now. So that's the trainer. But yeah, it's just, uh, if you're new to football, maybe uh, this is just gonna be a first look of the pool screen. New to football, uh, maybe that would be helpful, uh, but you know, it's uh, how did that go in? Wow, okay, okay. oh, sorry, we're playing against Tottenham, of course, he, of course, he went in, of course. How was that even, uh, like wondering, like surprised? Well, you won't get tired of watching this. You will not get tired of watching this. You know, I've been watching a lot of recently. I've been uh, like certain when certain like Arsenal games ain't like on like like you know I want to watch everything live and they're not broadcast or whatever or something. I'll watch a lot of like I'll find a foreign language channel wherever right. And uh, I'm telling you, I actually want to try it right now. Let's try it right now. The Arabic uh, Bean Sport, Bean Sports. I don't know how to pronounce it. Like, is the French channel, whatever. Their commentary might be the greatest, greatest. I can't understand what's going on, but it sounds so hype. Is actually crazy. 
uh, because I think the commentator legitimately might be like a crazy Arsenal fan because like I can't understand what's going on and every time I just I oh Tottenham and I'm like wait is he smack talking Tottenham I can't tell right now can I hold on where is it where is it where is it is it saying here somewhere uh commentary oh can I only do it I can only do it when I'm out of game okay we're we're do it for the next game because I'm kind of uh kind of okay, curious the so they have like they have loads of uh, language options. A lot of European languages and then uh, Japanese, Arabic, uh, Brazilian, uh, Brazilian, Portuguese, one of them. I, um, so yeah. um, anyway, if you ever get the chance, you should check it out. Because every. Did I not turn it off? What's going on here? Again, this is like the main. Uh, this is the. This is the. On off now uh, well, as you can see Arsenal had most of the ball they've passed it well their movement's been good and they've been well worth their lead could get even better here well that's how to keep the opposition at bay right I've, I've lost my track of four again um Wait, seriously, how do I turn it off? Stina Blackstenius. And in with a real chance. And still danger here. Able to clear the danger, um, at least for now. Yes, if you ever get a chance, now, options are plenty. listen to the Arabic language options. is uh, pretty entertaining. And the decision is offside. A lack of awareness that time, maybe. Well, yeah, it's great. They finally got the women's uh, football, uh, not women's football, women's club division in. What's sticking you so long? You know, so it's nice to see it finally here. So. Kim Little. Really important piece of last ditch defending. Superbly read and executed. Neville. Okay, I found options. Sorry. Is um so if you go show here, like you know that other trainer, you can turn it off. But like this is like the more granular trainer options, right? Like pass lines and everything. So you gotta turn this one off as well. And then you won't. At the end. Then you won't get the Lovely line. Moy. Um. Steph Catley. Yeah. So that's uh. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this okay. game. Uh, so chat chat was saying because we were talking about the World Cup mode early on. It was like, oh, remember when uh, so World Cups used to be a separate game? You used to get two FIFA games in the year. The the uh, it's weird because um, like my always motto is like you know the hardcore players will obviously buy FIFA for Ultimate Team every year, right? And then you'll have like just the football fans every couple of years. You know we want to or you want to continue to play a football game while you're watching your favorite sport. You know, so like, you know, like buying it every year seems a bit like much uh, for your normal football fan and consumer, which I totally understand. Um, so there's like there's two ways about this discussion. For me, it was always like, oh, since 2018 that they've been adding like the World Cup and the Euros mode into the game that you already own for free, which is a great thing. Like, you know, adds longevity to that game and everything. And then there's some people who are like, no, we preferred it when it was a separate game because, you know, they, uh, they would add more modes and it would be a dedicated FIFA game and it would be bonkers and everything. I, was like, mm, I can see it from like that perspective for like special modes and everything. But this, at the same time, like how much different is it going to be, right? It's just the licensing and branding on the, that game and a few extra modes, right? So for value proposition, I much prefer it like like this rather than um uh, a separate separate game you know if they're gonna do some like arcadey game or something sure but like you know um 
no, I, I prefer it like this. Especially, like, again, if you're, like, an ultimate team player now, it's even better for you. Like, if you haven't played ultimate team in years, um, we'll talk about that mode later and we'll check it out because they made some big changes on there. Like, this is the, like, content-wise, this would be the best time to play it. You know, again, with all those caveats, be careful when your kids play it, all that stuff. Or, you know, uh, play it responsibly. This, uh-oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everyone here to end of this. And holding on to it at the second time of asking. Um, yeah, it's gonna have loads of content here. So, you know, if you haven't bought a FIFA game in years, uh, you know, this might be the best time. But then again, it might not because I have some feelings about the gameplay of this game, which you're gonna have to wait to the end of. Actually, no, we're not gonna even wait to the end of the video. I might as well just talk about them here. I don't know if I like hypermotion too, man. I didn't even know if I liked High Promotion 1. But I'm what the the the, the journalists and the reviewers and every call a, a pace whore. Apparently that's the official name for me. Because I like faster games. Ooh, whatever, you know. I uh, So obviously when the game these games came to the next gen, right? We got we got uh, High Promotion 1, which is last year's game. And this year, we got High Promotion yeah, 2, yeah. which basically is translation for, like, we've added more animation to the players and everything and more, you know, uh, just more motion, right? But with that, uh, the, the, the game's obviously gotten the slower. Uh, so this game, this year's game is even slower than last year's game. Again, I like a fast down. FIFA game. So mm. for me... It's great to see all the better motion and everything, but at the same time, I don't like how slow the game is. Because like, I don't want it to be an arcade game. I don't want to play Mario Strikers, Four. right? But at the same time, uh, I don't want to play like 2009 FIFA, right? Which was again like way too arcadey, and there wasn't like nothing. You, you know what I mean? Uh, like for the last like five six years, they've had the right balance, right? So I feel like this, especially this year's jump, like uh, last year's game, obviously they slowed down a, a little bit. It wasn't that much. And I, uh, I appreciated the new motions and everything. But the, like the best way I can describe this game is who remembers like Pez when Pez was good, right? And then it was like Pez 04, Pez 05, and then Pez 06 came, right? Like these were the PS2 games. And like Pez 06 even though it was still on the PS2 and it was like they had a they had a big jump in like simulation stuff and then it just felt way too simmy like underneath it was still the same game Actually, but they yeah. like everything just felt so much more simmy and you're like wait these are free games that come out like three years apart like why does everybody have their favorite like you know Pezzo 4 or Pezzo 5 or Pezzo 6 is because like this was the big change this is the best way I can describe like this especially with high promotion too this feels like that time when um um you know I feel like it's a little bit too silly for me like um, and I was like last year I was thinking okay maybe they gotta get used to high promotion and everything the first year they bring out a new technology is gonna be all about oh you know we got to get the motions and all that and then that's what that's what, that's what happens with FIFA right the fans complain and then they speed it up a little while and then I was like oh yeah this is, this year's game they're gonna get a handle and everything and then they're gonna speed it up uh, but this year's game like they've added even more motions and everything and they've slowed it down even more I'm like oh okay um, so you know people who don't like you know the pace of use I, again i don't mean like oh uh i don't mean like you know it's slow because you can't pace abuse no i'm just it feels like more of a sim like game and there's you've got to get that balance in of you know you want a fun football game you don't want a really arcadey football game if you want an arcadey football game you know the, uh, that product is out there for you you know you can play mario strikers or something like that uh so you still want like a actual football game right but again you don't want to play a sim game you know you uh, ice hockey uh, hockey games are like the prime example right everybody loves a hockey game but like when hockey games go to sim level then they become don't become as fun to play so uh, i'm not talking about like the whole package of this year i'm just talking about like the general like you know uh i believe we might be getting to that point of yeah i'll take a little bit less accurate realism i know you know the muscle is gonna move here and the leg here and all that for a little bit more uh you know 
I don't want it to be ping pong at the same time, but, uh, uh, you know. Is that my long way of just saying to speed up the game, please? Yeah. Hey, speed up the game. There's option to go like faster, and it doesn't do much, by the way. Uh, the referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. I could have scored rainbow goals, but you know, how many have we scored? Four. I was talking. I wanted to show you the range of movements and stuff. Um, while we discuss the game. Uh, so what we're doing? Now. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the first big change we got. So let's go to play modes now, and I haven't touched it. Uh, apparently, like there was, it, it got released a little bit early or something, and some people had the version, and people, with content creators, were making videos on it, and then he was trying to take down those videos. I haven't touched it, so we're gonna go in and then let's see what it's about, you know? Because again, okay, I'm sure there's gonna be licensed audio here, so it's off. Okay. Oh, I see what they did there. They made it the cup. That's the shame. Ooh, All right. France is making a 16 appearance in the FIFA World Cup. Uh, won their first World Cup in uh, 1998. They defeated Brazil. For da -da -da. What's going on here? Select your favorite team. Oh. I'm not going to go England chat. Come on. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Hold on. What we got here? Mexico, Saudi Arabia, uh, Argentina. We're going to go Wales, okay? Oh, this is actually... I like this, actually. Uh, the stats and everything. That's cool. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Okay. <sighs> Scare me out here. That's who we're going to pick. And then, so what we got here? We got FIFA World Cup Live, FIFA World Cup 2022, FIFA World Cup Kickoff, online tournament, and customize, fine tune. What can we customize here? Oh, that's just. Oh, that's just the normal. Oh, wait. Change favorite team? Oh, that's just the normal settings. Um, Online tournament, I'm, I'm assuming you're going to be able to play FIFA online, but in World Cup mode, right? Tournament tree, play. Players online, yes, that's what it that is. That makes sense. Uh, then you got World Cup kickoff, which is just basically kickoff, but um, you know, uh, in the in the in the World Cup setting, right? And then um, what's this? FIFA World Cup twenty twenty two team select. Uh, let's figure out what this is. Um, where is I'm blind? Somebody help me in the Twitch chat. There they are. Welcome to the World Cup's biggest stage. Okay. Hold on. Is this like man? I actually don't know. I'm not actually curious. Again, license all the audio all over the place. I have to turn it off. Is this manager mode? Play match, standings, player stats, news, squad, customize. Play match. Sim match. Oh, I think this this might be like their manager mode for quick sim. Two two? What are you doing? Okay, it's happened. I just wanna quickly go in here just to see. Press menu button to play. Yeah, it feels weird without the audio on. Hello, again. a very good evening to you. Oh. This is the scene here at the Lucille Stadium, just to the north of the Doha City Center. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to oh, provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. 
And both teams with one game each under their belt already. Let's see how they fare this time around. Stewart, what are you expecting to see? Well, thanks, Derek. All they can do is win this game. They can't worry about the other result. Let's hope they come out and play as we know they can. This should be a good game. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Chat agrees with me. That is a very right pitch, right? It was like, you know, my boomer vision failed him here. That is right. I think they're trying to Text sim the lights of the stadium, the right? Whoa, that is, uh, destroy my retinas, bright. Marquinhos plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defense. Casemiro plays alongside Fred in the center of midfield. And the centerpiece of the attack today is Neymar. And they do like to press whenever they can. Paqueta. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Promising looking ball. Oh, it comes to okay. nothing in the That's end. Really should have made more of that. Uh, okay, this was just to check out what this is. Hold on. Should we go? Oh, jump. Jump to sim. Perfect share. Resume match. Jump to sim. Uh, jump in. Okay, yeah, this is basically their sim mode. That's what it is. And very uh, deftly cut out. And does well to keep it in play. Oh, that's cool. I actually like that. Actually, I haven't played manager mode in a while. I wonder if normal manager mode like works like this as well. You could change, you know, attacking balance. And we want to go full attacking. Uh, and then you know, change change your team manager. Really yeah, okay. Can you not just like uh, jump to result? Okay, you can. Okay, advanced. Uh, advanced. Okay, so they have like some form of manager mode. Obviously, uh, save and quit. You know, you can't. Buying, trading, and all that stuff. Okay, but I actually didn't know that. Continue tournament, uh, new tournament, custom tournament, and then FIFA World Cup Live, which is basically gonna be like kickoff live, which is gonna be like if you want to play this game while um the FIFA World Cup is happening, right? They're gonna uh, right, let's just read this. Play along with the World Cup biggest tournaments in real time. Uh, live connection da, 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 to let you follow all the excitement. All right, we got it. Results, fixtures, statistics are all updated, basically. So England fans can jump in and cry. <laughs> wow, we're watching it. Uh, featured, quick play. Choose a fixture, past, present, and play on match against local friends. Uh, online quick play. Your FIFA World Cup. Inherit a team. FIFA World Cup. Progress into tournament mode. And write your own history. Okay. Featured, quick play. Uh... Uh, okay, all right, fine. Yeah, I obviously want to play England. Home kit. And then I'm just curious who's on the squad. Kane. Bowden. What? 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 Like, what? Saka's only 81. Like, what? <laughs> what? Hold on. Okay. First of all, we need to. Okay. Like, how about here? And then, like, you know, I don't know why they're making him. Actually, you know what? Whatever. The same old team. We're going to do what we want. We're going to do what we want. Um. You know, and then obviously, of. <laughs> Listen, Jackie. <laughs> Uh, Walker, okay. Henderson. I wonder why nobody ain't talking about that story. I don't want to talk about it because we ain't got any information about it. But oh, Smith Rose, okay, let's go. Hold on, give me a second. Wait, isn't this squad updated? Huh, interesting. Injured, by the way. Uh, all right, that's fine. I like this. Goodbye. I mean, I don't like this. I'm just, you know, I just want to sit into menus all this time. So it's the first time I'm seeing this. Uh, okay, I like this design. It's different, you know, the animated menus and everything. Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Okay.
try to not to skip it so we can see it. Again, music all over the place here, you know, but... Hello and When's the first to the match to 20 for this weekend? Here in the northern Qatari city of Alcor. My name is Derek Ray and my right, is this bitch wrong? Was somebody bright? Okay. Maybe they're trying to simulate the, uh, you know, it's very warm around that part of the world and like the sun is super bright and everything. It's England and they take on Iran. Well, thank you. Okay, I gotta Both try not to be how well, I would like commentate if today. I was to myself. I was playing, you know, Just my boxers. Hi, myself. <laughs> in our group. Well, the trend is England's friend, semi finalists in Russia in 2018, runners up at the last. Oh, we can Europe. score here, Derek. In it goes. All right, maybe we are up the difficulty a little bit. This is. Uh, it's a tad bit too easy. Can you adjust the difficulty on the fly? I actually don't know. Settings. Settings. Game settings. Uh actually don't know if you can. Alright, somebody remind me that we got changed the difficulty. Here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Space afforded him. Kane. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. Calvin Phillips and return to Kane. All right, one try to score a corker from outside the box. On the easy just cutting settings. off the supply. Well, not easy. It's a semi pro. Okay, don't judge me out here. Now, who can he play it to? He takes aim. Oh, a smart stop. This happened to come to Saka, this happened to use him, you know. I'm just coming Sky, checking out all the options. So the corner played into the box, using his body to good effect. The corner kicks keep on coming. Insufficient guile from that corner, keeper's ball. And the ball's gone. What's that? Chance to run at them. But timely defending when it mattered. Sardar Osmo. Jahan Bash. Phillips doesn't have to do it on his own. That was the awful pass. The ball back. Said Ezatolahi. Bahid Amiri. Nurolahi. England. I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm. Like, obviously, it's the first time we're going to get the World Cup like mid season, right? Because they had. Because obviously it's too warm there, so they have to do it, you know, around Christmas time. Damn. Okay. I don't know if I'm in the World Cup mood, man. I'm grey from December. I don't know how much I can, can tear and scream for World Cup. Let's see, I suppose, in like a week's time. Well, here you can see it again. Good run. That wasn't Saka. And a composed finish under pressure. That's a top class goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. Amiri. Well, possibilities in the centre. In the right place to cut out the pass. Well, no surprise there. England have enjoyed most of the possession and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more.
And still looking to get the shot away. The save was a good one. Try to say the same thing. World Cup does feel like a more of a summer thing. I don't know if it makes sense. Nah, like everybody's, every, that's what we're used to, right? And he clears the danger. Um, or maybe again for sports fans though, like that's like off season, right? So they've got nothing to watch anyway. So you've been starved for football like a, for a month or two. Um, uh, but like as we're in the middle of like all sports around all the world, so every, there's just so much sports on TV on at the moment anyway, right? Uh, World Cup's happening in like you know off season. Like, like, uh, makes sense because everybody hasn't watched their sport in a while, you know. So the Couple of weeks for sports fans, that's enough. So, I guess we, I mean, it'd be interesting at least to see, right? It's Does it lobby. work? The, last time. Uh, uh, this is the last the time they tried this, who knows? I said they don't like the England kit. Mount. I mean, England kit's always been kind of boring, Calvin right? Phillips. Brazil kit, Argentina, Argentina kit. Uh, what are national kits Sterling. do I actually like? Here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions. Replays still look fantastic in this game, though. No I think my issue about the uh, image might be being too noisy. I think well, that might be because all of the pitch deform uh, deformation Scorlai stuff that is gone, you, you know, know, like cutting up and all that stuff. Bahid Amiri, strong but fair tackle. Ooh. Vahid Amiri. I don't know if this theme is going to be licensed, right? If this is just a theme, the theme, he's talking about the theme for the menus and stuff. I don't know if this is going to be the actual World Cup theme as well. Because even if the theme is um, like licensed, or this is like EA is some doing off of their own whim, right? So I guess we're fine in a couple of weeks. Because you would, you'd think all like the color matching and everything would be similar. I actually don't know. But when we see like official World Cup presentations on TV and stuff, are they going to do the same? Um, because again, like I don't know if we. Uh, the reason I say that is I don't know if I'm if I'm gonna like judge EA on say oh. Well, at this stage anyway, right? I don't know if I can say, well, yeah, I don't know about this presentation, man. Like for the menus and stuff, or is it, oh no, the actual World Cup TV broadcast stuff was like that also. So then there was license to do it like that. That's why I don't know at the moment. You see what I'm saying? Does that make sense, everybody? I do like the ripple and the ball effects though. Well, as the replay shows us, all right, Kane next match, we're going to pick Brazil. We're going to change the language because I'm just curious to hear. Okay, get off my screen. Actually, no, you know what? We'll do that now. So audio. Commentary language. Arabic, Spanish, Russian, Polish. Spanish, Latin, Japanese, Italian, German, French, Dutch, Brazilian, Portuguese, uh, Arabic. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Uh, kick off. Could do a FIFA World Cup live. Let's go kick off. And then let's go the final. And then let's go. Wait, no, that's okay. Okay, let's go Brazil. Wait, what's qualified? Unqualified? Oh, interesting. Okay, okay, okay. So you can bring in basically all the national teams. 
So it's not just locked uh, to the qualified teams. Oh, I like that they've done that, actually. Um... Oh, wait, but is, it, is that everyone? That's not everyone, right? Is that group stages teams? I don't... I don't know how they're doing this. Man, England's attack seems a little bit high. So Brazil's kit looks a bit washed out. What's going on here? Uh, all right, let's actually look at the squads. Uh, all right, put Neymar. Junior, okay. Casemiro's saying at a 90. How old is he now? Hold on, how can I see like stats on player? Uh, quick sub suggestions. Uh, age for years right there. I'm blind. Ninety. Okay. Uh, uh Marquinhos, Danilo. Who else have they got? Jesus. All right, I think what we're going to do here is we put Neymar here, okay? And then, you know, Arsenal fan and all that. Uh, who's in goal? Alisson. Anybody else that I don't... Oh, wait. Is... Um... This the updated squad? Oh, Martin Ellis is here. Okay, it is updated squad. Uh, who we take off? Who do we? Who do we? Who do we? Who do we? I mean, we don't need two goalkeepers there, right? I like that. We're gonna bring on a super sub. Okay, we will do that. I'm happy with that. I'm not happy with that. It's not gonna spend whatever here. All right, let's go in. We had to uh. Like it, this is gonna be cut out of the video, but obviously we changed it to the Arabic language pack. You, the, whichever language pack you change it to, you have to download it. And it, like the Arabic language pack was 1.6 gig, uh, so each language pack you have to download because they don't want to make the final game size bigger. But you know, this is to add to the authenticity of it. Okay. Also because I like watching Oh, this is that same bright stadium again I'm sorry, okay You're going to have to bear, bear with this My Renas Arcana oh, here fouling though What a piece Send him off ref, send him off Cuss him out in Arabic what a piece of get out of here, Tottenham player and all that. Oh, and we up the div quit as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, the English fans put you off. And the Brazilian flags are nice in the back. A little on the pitch and everything. All right. Okay, now I'm getting into the mood. I, like, I do like that effect though, that's nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, I'm for the tricks. Come on, Osman Casemiro. Uh -oh. Get out of here. Honestly, this is too bright. Come on, 
اثنين لا I mean, uh, England getting roasted by foreign commentators is like a classic in its own, right? Your boys took one hell of a beating. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. Yeah, what the hell is he talking about? Was it cricket that that happened in? I think it might have been cricket, right? Oh my god, like look at the English defenders. The ref, send him off. Send he tried to take my legs out. Try to end my career. This goes up in the YouTube video, so I've got to keep it calm. I've got to keep it calm. Raheem Sterling. I oh ref barely touched him. Man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Learning, always diving. I barely touched you, ref. Come on. It's not my fault. You like weighs like two stone. I'm a big, fine specimen of a man. You know, he looks serious. His ironed hair. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ha 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 Sorry, it's okay. Okay. Oh, I, should if I was too busy laughing. Did you see that free kick? The professional difficulty now. This is like the professional England. This is the professional England. England. Is that mouth? Jeez, okay. Oh no, you didn't. Hadi Kin Rabish. Okay, for somebody says I'm taking the mic, I should minority out here, by the way. And, uh, oh, is that pen? I speak a little bit to Arabic, you know, because Muslim, so watch yourself. Casimiro, Danilo, and Gabriel Jesus. Take one, Jesus. Far from my time. Far from. That a real goal, draw at the moment, though. He's such a great worker, though. Oh. I mean, seriously, even on my 50 inch TV, I can't see what's going on back there. The zoom is too far out. Uh, even the foreign language commentaries are rinsing the shit out of Harry Kane. He, Harry Kane sucks. I'm not compared, okay? Don't okay. get that excited, it's only Harry Kane. Honestly, these Arabic, uh, Arabic commentators are too tame. Oh, I should talk about that. Uh, oh, shit, 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 shit. Uh, so they've got this new. Uh, we haven't seen it yet because I'm just going a lot of those, okay? Because I've been talking too much. So they've got. Um, I don't know what they call it. Uh, zoom in cam or something. When you're taking a shot and it's about to be a goal or a potential goal, the camera zooms in. I love it. It's a great effect. You can turn it off if you want. Uh, it might get annoying online, but against the CPU, it's a really cool effect. I like it. Oh, outside the pool! We, we need the Arab commentators to be more hype. To be real, to be, this is not authentic. Foden. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ow! No! Come on, Brazil. Look. You need to pass it out of box all the time, okay? Relax. Relax. I don't want to watch replay. I should have watched replay, but I don't want to watch replay. All right, let's actually, actually, actually. Right at the goalkeeper. Who else is going to be in the final? I actually don't know. England, France? Did it foul? Yeah, that's, you know what? Yeah, you give it to you. That's the actual replay we want. Harry Kane is foul and ass. It's health. Don't worry, Tottenham fans don't watch the stream. I know, because in my, in my, in my, not my description, in my metadata, I put Arsenal fans. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're safe. I reckon it's Argentina, France. Uh, everybody thinks France, yeah. It's in there. Uh oh, chill out. All right, they're trying to pass in the back of the net. Silver with his 38 year old self. Let's go. The only reason Chelsea didn't get battered more a couple of weeks ago. Or no, from table. Let's go. Oh, chin, 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 chin. I like the animation though. But no, I kept it in line. I kept it in line. Goalkeepers though, they love to over exaggerate everything. Everything. Oh, look at the pace. Look at the pace. He's left it. What was that pass? Where we going, Sterling? Where we going? Where we going? Where we going? Where we going? Was it Sterling? Was it Saka? I don't know. Wasn't Ken Ted. All right, you know what? Maybe we need to actually put Neymar as a striker. Let's go! England, your boys took one hell of a beating. After one goal. I like the commentators bit. This. Again, I don't know if I like that high promotion two stuff that um, that. That effect that you know that they do during replays. Like, all right, we get. Yeah, we know. High promotion too. I can tell. I can feel the reducer pace. Boom. 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 Oh, it finds time. Come on, England. Come on, England. Alexandro. Neymar. Neymar. Curl it. Curl it. I said. Oh. Okay. It really saddens me that the Brazil national team haven't been good for a long time. They're like really, 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 really not good. I mean, they have got a like a, a, a younger team now, and like a lot of 
younger players coming through and I think there's hope though, right? So I don't know, maybe they do well at this year's uh, tournament. Kane out here. Is that Kane? Kane, is that you? Sliding all over the place. Guy just loves to dive in, man. And do them leg breakers all the time. All right, I was too busy smack talking, Kane. The score. Everything was under control. Everything was under control. I remember, you know, the two kits looking very similar because this Brazil kit looks washed out. Somebody put the temperature too high on laundry. Oh, what was that? Oh, no. He was offside, so he decided to pass back. Okay. Headers outside the box. That's what we're going to leave him to. Thank you. Thank you. Try to break my legs. Did you see this chat? Did you see this YouTube? Uh, oh, there's so much data on the screen right now. So much data. Okay, we're just going to... Oh. I'd like to freak it there, F. Uh-oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Ooh. What an interception! I'll take one now. Wins a win. Wins a win. Oh, they're losing it, man! Oh, yeah, we got to take it here. Oh my God! Yes! Casimir, who is it? Put her little lights on, crying. Neymar with the awful beard. Have such cool hair when he was younger. Damn. Wow, I'm from I'm from the UK, by the way. If anybody thinks like, come on, you know, why are you picking on the England team so much? I feel like I'm missing a bit of fireworks here. What's going on? Oh, there they are in the back. Okay, they went off a bit late. I'm just saying, we need to work on this. Qatar. Bottom Brazil. Totally deserved. Totally, totally, 100%. You deserve it. End match. Uh, all right, let's go. I'm coming true team. Could have been a little bit more hype. I'm just saying. Um, 
you know, I can't judge you on like the full language because I don't know that much Arabic and a little bit of it. Uh, put that to Arabic. Uh, back. Put that back to English. Uh, what shall we? Should we play another game? Um. I'm assuming the live stuff, I didn't really go into that. I'm assuming the live stuff is not uh, gonna be like live right now. No, I, I guess that's enough of, you know, it, it, again, it's, uh, it's just, it's still FIFA, right? It's just that they've put all the licensing and all that stuff around it and the official teams and everything. So, uh, you know, People genuinely want to play football games when the season starts. And again, you know, there's a World Cup going on. People going to want to play a World Cup game. At least there's a license uh, mode in there, right? It isn't like crazy changed or anything. But again, it is nice to have a free update in there. All right. So what we'll do now is uh, let's go into uh, Ultima Team. And let's check out Ultima Teams a bit again because they've made uh squad updates needed okay because they've made some big uh changes to all my team this year and uh also you know it might be the best time to play it now because you're gonna get all the free world cup stuff in there as well so again if you're a free to play player it's the grinds there to get all the world cup or a lot of the cool world cup cards right um how does neymar now that's a good question chat actually i don't know we can Google that for me, right? Uh, get more FIFA 23 as an EA player. Remember, get more than season unlocks. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. I don't know what. Wait, trash pun is that real? FIFA set. Okay. All right, here's the World Cup stuff. FIFA World Cup player items. A FIFA World Cup heroes are now available in FUT. To celebrate, we've given you a FIFA World Cup starter pack. There will be plenty of additional opportunities to earn FIFA World Cup player items during Season 2. Select packs you earn war as well as some store packs. All right, we got it. Uh, and then, obviously, this is what they like. So, if you don't know, if you don't even play all my team in a long time, they do, like, challenges, right? With your challenges, you get, like, swap tokens which are swap cards basically and then toward the end of the whatever the like you, uh, the event you swap your tokens for better cards basically so they're the swap tokens are going to be all basically um uh you know fifa world cup welcome to fifa world cup enjoy special time limit world cup players to boost your club for a duration of the world cup pick a fifa world cup country you are about to pick a country for from the FIFA World Cup, from which you'll receive six FIFA World Cup players available in a club only for the duration of the season. Only for the duration of the season? Huh. Okay, this is actually... Hmm. You're about to pick a country from FIFA World Cup, from which you'll receive six FIFA World Cup players available. I mean, again, we just took the mick out of England for so long, right? But obviously, Arsenal fan. So... Oh, do I pick Brazil? Do I pick? Do I pick England right now? Uh, these players are unique. We custom updated stats specific FIFA World Cup, so we encourage you to pick your team you support. Oh no, I'm gonna have to go technical here now because you know England and I play Premier League and all that. Uh, use the limited players before you leave your club at the end of the World Cup season and play to earn Premier. Oh, so do they leave your club? Use time limited players before they leave your club. Ah, huh, that's interesting. Um, okay. It's actually Spain, mm, who Germany have some players. Uh, Belgium have some good players. England have some good players. Argentina have a, one or two, you know, big players. Uh, Brazil have one or two big players. I guess if I pick Brazil, we could get three Premier League players, right? Three, four, and, and the goalkeepers, five. Actually, there's a good chance if we pick Brazil, we get a good couple of Premier League players. Actually, 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 actually. But then we can get Saka, though. You know, there's that possibility. Hmm, this is a tough decision. What an Arsenal player? A goalkeeper, Saka. Oh, I'm going to go to the chat. I'm going to do it. Are you sure you could? Yes. 
Oh, I wonder if I should have gone like England because if uh, if the stats get updated, who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Okay. All right. Who else? Oh, actually, I'm I'm happy with that. I mean, he's not the greatest, but you know, again, Arsenal fans are take. Imagine getting so hyped over an 84. That was the reason. I was like, oh, I want to see, you know, you know, you know. You know, uh, I'll take it. I will take it. Uh, send a Obviously, we can't send a transfer player. And let's go here. All the hard coffee. Imagine losing your mind over an 84. Uh, so we talk about the World Cup stuff. Also, let's we should take this opportunity to talk about like they've made some big changes and stuff in um Ultimate Team as well, right? So um, I basically started my Ultimate Team up and I haven't done anything. Uh, so if we just first of all go to store because they said they give us some free packs, you know, and you know we like our free packs. So FIFA World Cup Hero Pack pre-order, okay. So it looks like you have items to do it. Okay, so this is one of our tokens. That's not a World Cup token, is it? Uh, okay, send that club. Fine. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Again, review copy provided by the publisher. So you're fully aware. Wow. Hold on. Is this. Did I get to pull up my score? No, I. Bro, I feel like this is a pogness. You know what? Um, I feel like I just pull, pulled a great card. Okay. Again, I haven't been keeping up with like all cards and everything, so I don't know what's crazy good or not. But okay. I don't know why I got a couple of bronze packs here. And then again. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. And uh, what promo packs have they? Have they still got their preview premium gold player packs? You know, and then they still got their whole preview thing here, so you can see what's in the pack before paying for the pack. See if you re run okay, no. We're not the goalkeeper? Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh to see if you don't want to buy it, you know, because the whole loot box is gambling. Uh that's a big change that they did, and I'm still happy with that, because you know. Uh but see for the promo packs, they only introduce it sometime, right? Because uh you know, it was too good of a feature, right? So they want you spending that money on those packs. Um, I got objectives there to do. I want to show you the big changes with, um, would it be in? If I go squad here. Uh, I do this. Would it show it? Um, oh, here we go. So, this is like the big channel add players of the same country, region, legal club to build chemistry. Uh, two French player, two French players being added to your squad earns one chemistry point. Each French player gets one chemistry point. Uh, players can help to free chemistry, add players with the same country, region, uh, league, or club to increase their chemistry. Um, what else was new here? So yeah, that's a that's a um that's a big change here. So, so they fundamentally totally change how the chemistry system works now. So there's no more lines, you know, players connected and are they in the same club? Are they in the same nation? Is basically based around the whole squad. Um, and then let's see. Uh, and then obviously they got uh, chemistry styles to customize your players to your liking. 
Um, and then also they've made um, they did one more big change here. If I go, was it the positioning? Um, player positioning. Uh, players only earn and contribute to chemistry when in their correct position. Out of position. Out of position players will be visible in the panel to highlight the impact on the players that share the same chemistry um, attribute. That text is very small, sorry. Position change items. Use the position modifier uh, consumable items to swap a player's position uh, with one of the... That text is so small. Alternative positions, did I say? Um, so yeah, basically... Um, They've limited what you can do with like positions and players now, uh, so it has it has a much bigger impact. You know, uh, if you play, you know, left winger, left midfield, or certain centre forwards can't get changed to attacking midfielders now and things like. That. So they've given you more freedom on like the chemistry stuff, but they've uh made the, the position stuff a little bit more strict so yeah th those are like those are the big gameplay changes you know for Ultima team is basically the positions and the chemistry um and then obviously the market like i spoke about in the beginning of the stream is like three pools now again uh PC pool, Switch pool, and then the uh, Xbox and PlayStation pool for the transfer market. Um, and it's uh, full cross-play between those pools. Another big change is uh, if you look at, uh, the, you'll see like a purple star there. So if I go to play here, um, uh, see where it says take on cha take on challenges, earn stars, and exchange them for wards in the star gallery found inside. So if we go moments here, I haven't played this in one yet. I thought we do it on stream. So this is this is new. Uh, this like whole exchange stars for wards on uh and lone players. If I go in here, um, so you know obviously you got your coins. You can see on th there at the top. Then you got your actual FIFA points. Uh. Yeah, I ain't got 8,000. I've been carrying them over from a couple of games, just to let you know. And yeah, there's this new currency that those stars that you earn can get you, you know, packs here. And I'm assuming that changes all the time. So uh, you go in here um, and like complete certain challenges and then get those stars. And then that's where you can use them. That's just a big change here for things you want to play. Um... And then uh, I think that's the only big changes here to talk about. Again, uh, different gameplay mode with the moments to earn those. And then the way you build chemistry and stuff. And then obviously we've got the introduction of the World Cup stuff. So there's like World Cup promotion going on all over the place. So if I go into objectives here. Uh, okay. Get all my stuff. Okay. Uh, and if I go, okay, if I go into objectives here, come on um we'll probably see some of the world cup objectives right now going on um before world cup objectives here and they'll probably be trickling these out over the next couple of weeks right so if you do play all my team you don't especially if you don't spend money on it like i don't um people are gonna see that eight thousand points again it's I carried them over from other games, uh, from the last three games, I think. Um, so yeah, it's probably a good time to play. Now. It gets super great if you if you're a free to play player, and I mean not free to play, you pay for the game, right? But if you don't spend uh, these objectives, I'm not gonna lie. If you unless you're really good, then you fly through them. But for me personally, though, because I don't play online, I play the CPU. Uh, it does get super grindy. I'm not gonna lie, but you know, is is a way. Um. I think what we're gonna do right here is now we'll we'll probably build a we'll build a squad and then we'll play some ultimate team and like we'll be right back. Should we do moment first? Hold on. Play and relive some of the most important contributions of the sports player left a trophy. 
10 days, 23 hours, 9 days, 1 day. Pitch perfect, jumping to do virtual skills. Hold on. So if we go here. FIFA World Cup heroes play and relive some of the most important contributions of players. Canada France 1986. Challenge assist with a cross. Assist with a assist with a cross. Score with a header from inside the opponent's box. Win the match. Squad requirements: World Cup hero player minimum one. Um. AI difficulty amateur. Oh, this is hold on. Uh. Portugal versus Korea. Assist with a cross. Score from inside the opponent's box. Win the match. And all the modifiers are set on per... Uh, Park Ji-sung showed excellent da -da -da -da, only goal of the match in the 70th minute and helped his team qualify knockout stage of the tournament. Assist with a cross. Score from inside the opponent's box. Win the match. World Cup hero player minimum one in your starting 11. All right, we got that. We got that. We got that. So if I go here. So I'm assuming this is against. This would be against AI. Just cutting off the supply. Ruben Nes. Huh. This, this is actually pretty cool. Do you want to make it cooler, though? I guess they, they still want you to build your team, but if it was the full team you Sanchez. was using? Uh, I actually, then well, they could just do it as a single player. Okay, no, 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 never mind. I take that. I'm thinking out loud, challenges. Uh... Jesus. Okay, As assist with a cross, Leonardo score from inside the box, possession. opponent's box, win the match. Okay. Well, they've given him too much space. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. And he clears it out of harm's way. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. And good pressure high up the pitch. Splendid tackle, and a throw in coming up. Javier Mascherano. And options in the centre. How did you not get to it? What's going on? Gabriel Jesus. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Let's go. We see it is on amateur, okay? But you know, I did set the difficulty this time. Twitch chat, YouTube, that was them, okay? Don't judge me. I mean, they they do need to get people into the mode, right? So it's probably this the first challenge I think I've ever seen, like with the difficulty so low. Again, though, ways to play all my team is always great. Again, because I just rinse out the whole. Uh, I rinse out the squad battles because I don't like playing against online people. I think it's a different level of frustration. I guess uh, I've done the challenge. I just got to win the match now, right? Why am I, why am I still going for the cross? Gabriel Jesus. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Tremendously strong in the tackle. And he might be through here. And denied by the post. Splendid defending. 
Well, that would have made sure of a well-deserved victory. But they're not quite there yet. Opportunity it is. And a goal! They lead by two now. And that's a All right, I mean, I guess the difficulty is so easy. They don't force you to play the full... So if you're trying to down. grind for him, you wouldn't play on this low difficulty because it would just become showing excellent vision. Mind numbing, right? Penalty ref, Jones. what's going on? Two footed challenge, studs showing. What give me the intense pressure? And it's Gabriel Jesus. Force oh, no! Okay, you missed it. What's going on? Wait, did the timer fully go down? I just I don't understand what just happened. Assist with a cross score, win the match. Maybe they were like, no, uh, they ain't coming back from that. No idea. This is pretty fun, though. Can we do anything with higher difficulty or can we change it? Select reward level. Hold on, there must be a way, because that is a uh, player relives most important contributors of player match. Uh, hold on, I'm curious. What is in here? I mean, the only other thing right now, the problem is, though, there's not, like, a lot you can buy, right? Gold pack. A mix of, I mean, okay, premium, premium gold pack. I wonder if these rewards are going to get better when... And loan players, okay. Well, loan players wouldn't be worth it. The packs would be, though. I wonder what would be more efficient to do now, this or squad battles? Because at least with squad battles, you're getting points, right? Uh, is the difficulty... Amateur, 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 amateur. It maybe it goes up? Okay, let's have actually have a look. Uh, build your squad to complete the da Play through moment, complete a series of challenges. Complete moments to earn stars to unlock more moments and to redeem. Oh, maybe it's just because he's on the low level. Okay. Okay. Well, this is the World Cup theme first look, right? So we might as well. So if we go here. Kind of for France. World Cup hero player, min one. Uh, error in chemistry. What is the requirement? Assist with a cross, score with a header from... Inside the opponent's box. All right, we can do this. We can do this. Go ahead. Okay. Advanced. But again, oh, I wonder if this if this is using contracts. Alright, we've got that shit away. Right, come on, 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 come on. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Gabriel Jesus! Well, the cross came over and a real need to get rid of the ball here. And flag raised, offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. Well, the future stars were wasteful. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Gabriel Jesus prepared to fire. All right, and there's the cross line. Right. Got it. Oh, my goodness. So well. a goal of the I wish he was scoring like this. The Premier League underway with the lead standing at 2 0. And it's Gabriel Jesus committed challenge. A really sumptuous ball. Well, not allowed to continue. 
He had drifted into the offside position. Well, if he takes a step back to the ball and then spins in behind, he'll be onside. But he does know where the space is. Can they convert? And there it is! Another goal! And surely there's no way back from this now! Alright, now finish it. Now we've got 15. 15 minutes this is looking time. rather comfortable for them 3-0 a quarter of an hour remaining seriously if they, they better have harder challenges though otherwise well the supporters think it's on and still looking to get the shot on and it goes such a complete performance four in front now actually it will be quicker if we just let the timer run down now and this is turning into something of a route Oh, it shows you your chemistry level on the player as well. Oh. Interesting. Oh, he scored. Yeah, and he's not even the, the best chemistry. Super tackle and we'll have to position. read somewhere on the over-under of how it's badly does it affect. Behind. It just needs to remain icy cold. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. All right, we're just going to let Ten time run out. Come on. Dunk. Well, the seconds are ticking away, and the home side in control. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, what can you say about this performance? You heard boys to win here, Creativity, And their passing has been so expansive. Not many teams would have stopped them today. Cuts in from the flank. It's still there for him. I mean, literally a big quicker for the challenge that was required. Hey, that is taking everything in my brain. Foiling his opponent completely. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Dunk. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. Clean challenge. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Well, it would have been a chance, but the run was mistimed. Offside. It was mistimed, chat. All right, we got it. I don't know why I sound right stick select reward. Yeah, the, this is uh, is interesting right now, but I... Oh, actually, let's see also. Did it take contracts? Oh, it didn't take contracts. Oh, interesting. Okay. So I guess this is just a side thing to do. Because it doesn't cost contracts then, so you're not losing anything. The only thing I was thinking, right, I don't know if, the, if this if this took contracts, then it wouldn't be worth, right? But it's just a fun side game mode, right? So, I mean, the own... Hmm. And all of it is shorter stuff. Uh, I guess the only thing is we have to see like if there's better rewards and eggs or like better packs. That's what you really want. But like the packs in there at the moment, I'll like whatever. Oh, that's all my team mode for you. You know, uh, a big changes again, you know, people who like poo poo old my team and everything are going to be like, you know, well, you know, same thing, whatever. But like, again, what they've done to the, um, like the squad chemistry system is a big change. Um, 
the market being unified now is great. And again, even if you don't play a lot of Ultima Team right now, and again, I'll, I'll preface this be careful if you play Ultima Team, you know, because gambling and all that stuff. But during the World Cup, like, they're just giving you players to use, right? You know, it's a bit weird that they're giving it the whole, oh, you only get these players for 60 days, whatever. They want to keep your engagement. But, like, you know, you can totally probably just boot it up, get a couple of good players and have a fun time with it, right? And that, that moment's... That moment section looks fun as long as I throughout the season if the rewards are better and um if the rewards are better and um basically if the rewards are better and it, it, there's a reason to play that over um squad battles because squad battles after the week gives you a lot of stuff right um all right so there you have it uh that was a first look at fifa 23 the final fifa and uh it's world cup mode and all the world cup content they've added added to it once again full disclosure plan uh full disclosure review copified by the publisher and we're playing on xbox series x um some final thoughts then. Yeah, so Hyper Motion 2 has slowed down the game even more so than last year's game. I do like all the new animation and everything they added in. Again, though, uh, you know, I don't want them to go deeper into the sim route. I don't want to admire strikers. But at the same time, you know, I, I me, this is a personal preference thing. I do prefer a faster game. Uh, also, I don't know if they've got the zoom level right. No matter what I do, I can't get it right. Uh, it feels a bit too zoomed out, and even though I change the settings, it just you know. And again, I the image feels a bit noisy on the pitch as well. I think they've like pitch deformation happened so much, so that's why. Uh, but to me, there's just something like noisy. I I I even know how to describe it. It's just like I was a b in it with last year's game. And I was like, ah, oh, the picture looks noisy. I don't know. Um, the World Cup mode, very fun, you know, if you're going to be watching the World Cup, I mean, if you watch this after World Cup, uh, like, how much is it going to really matter, like, you know, is it going to be worth it, is the skin on the mode, right, but it's fully licensed and everything, and, you know, we're going to have World Cup fever over the next month, so, and it is a free add-on, right, you know, the days of, oh, let's pay for a World Cup game when you don't really need to, uh, so it's a nice free addition, uh, and again, um, with the caveat of be careful of Ultimate Team and loot boxes and everything, uh, it is a nice time to go in and play Ultimate Team because they're just chucking cards at you, right? They only It is a shame that the cards that they are giving you are like 60-day loaner cards uh, rather than you get to keep them throughout the season. You know, they don't seem... I mean, the ones we got anyway, they don't seem like crazy overpowered or something. So uh, I guess, you know, being cynical and all that, they got keep that 60 day engagement up right uh some big changes to all my team again like with it full full cross play and everything as well when you'd find market for the uh transfer market um the way that chemistry works is the biggest change we've seen in a long time i'm still getting used to it to see how everything works so they've given you a bit of freedom there but again player position it seems a little bit more strict on now so I can't play three left backs and right backs and center backs to have a pacey free back line. You know what I'm talking about. You've all done it. It doesn't seem like they're going to really slap your wrist in this year's game for doing that. So, uh, yeah, so chemistry wise, you know, uh, on the surface, if you don't play this game every year and you're like, oh, what are the changes? Actually, quite significant changes for all my team as well, uh, for hardcore players as well um, who play this, uh, you know, that one market, depending on the platforms and uh you know chemistry and position changes uh yeah so all in all though like again like probably in like you know if we're not adding the world cup mode and you know the thing that they've done to the ultimate old team uh like obviously incremental changes from last year's game right we're not seeing like last year's game like first proper next gen game high promotion and everything real big jump in graphics and everything uh this is more like just refining that, right? And again, it, it is going to be to personal preference. Do you prefer a faster game? Do you prefer a slower game? I personally prefer a faster game. So, you know, this is like, for me, it would be like, um, 
if you bought last year's game, you know, I don't know if I can say, oh yeah, this is this is so much different. You could pick this game up. For me, it would be like uh for like the football fan who again wants the their most content out of a football game, I usually say get the one that is coming up no, near the Euros or near World Cup because that's gonna be the one with the most content in it and it's g- probably gonna give you the most play that you can like play for a year or two, not a year, but two, right? You know, uh, so for that reason, if I'm not judging it compared to last year's game and just like this has its own standalone product, this is has a decent amount of content in there with the World Cup editions and everything. So you'd probably get a long tail out of this game. Um, so, yeah, there you have it. That's uh, my final thoughts on the final FIFA. Right. We're going to have to see next year what they're going to call it and everything. And uh, if your average consumer is like, you know, aware and uh, if is it going to make a big difference on them not having their license? And uh, I guess we'll uh, see what happens with that uh, going forward. Right. But I have it. Final FIFA ever. Unless somebody else comes by the, by his name and then they call it FIFA. We'll see, though. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Uh, you know, have you picked this up? Are you playing home a team? Are you planning to pick this up because World Cup fever and all that? Who do you think is going to win? I wonder if my Twitch chat is right. Uh, if it is France, they're never going to live that down. Once again, um, longer video will be up on Twitch. Shorter video will be up on YouTube. Uh, drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Um, follow or subscribe depending on where you're watching. Uh, don't forget to turn those notification bells on so you do know when new videos drop. Speaking of that longer video, uh, we stream a couple of times a week over on Twitch, got community discord and I post on Twitter all the time. All that information will be in the description. Uh, I don't know. I think we're going to call it this one. Thanks for tuning in. Much love. Peace.